Yeah. Glory! Praise you, Father God. We just thank you, O oh Lord. Lord. Oh, we praise you, Father God. We praise you, Father God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you made us, that you made us in your image. We thank you that we're bringing forth the, an extension of you, Father God, that we have the Holy Spirit within us, that we are the temple of the living God, that we are part of you, that we are Christ in us, the hope of glory, that we've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer we that live, but Christ that lived through us, and yet we live, that you he who knew us from our mother's womb has revealed his son through us. And we thank you, Father God, that we stand in awe, that we ask for wonder and you gave us awe, Father God. But these are the days of awe, and we thank you, Father God, that we just speak forth where you show us how to totally be and exist. We do totally exist in your spirit, but ask, we ask kind of how to remain in that and not back and forth that we want a steady flow of you, the Holy Spirit, as you lead us into all truth. We just declare this day for your word, the living word, the Christ within us to go forth and to touch, change us and, and those that are listening for the unclaimed truth, for the absolute truth, for the reality that is, that if your eye be single, your whole body is light, that you only know light, that you are the creator, the perfect one, and we thank you that you were in us, that you've made all things subject unto us, that we have dominion over all living things, and that through Christ, who is a life-giving spirit, and he came to give life and to give it more abundantly, that we give life, that we give life, that we give life over the airways, that we give life today to everyone that we come in contact with, that everyone that hears our voice. And we just speak on earth that is in heaven, for Korea, for the United States government, for the government of California. We thank you, Father God. We speak on earth that is in heaven, peace and love and a desire for people to to know the truth and not to follow mankind, that we are not, we did not come from Adam, we came from God. And we thank you, Father God, we praise you. We just declare this day on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Father God. We declare all authority, all love, and all humility. We declare authority. We declare the government of God is upon our shoulders. It's with the body of Christ. And the government was on his shoulders, so the sh his shoulders are his body. So we declare, we declare change. We declare awakening. We declare consciousness of who they are, that the bride of Christ, the sons, manifested sons of God, that whatever you want to call them, come forth in the spiritual, to come forth as E equals MC squared, that we come forth that the, that the matter understands that they are energy, that they are spirit, to be born from above, to be born of the spirit. You must be born again of spirit, not just say a prayer. For it's not by might and not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. By my spirit within you. Trust within you. Trust within you. Lean not on your own understanding. We acknowledge you, Father, in all our ways. Thank you, Father God. 
Yes, yes, yes. All that can be shaken is being shaken by my spirit. And by my spirit, I say, I am the God who is teaching. And because I am teaching, my truth brings a confidence. My truth brings a trust. My truth brings a reliance. My truth has been bringing a shaking. And as I teach, says the Lord, that you are being set free in your mind because your mind is my mind and you are beginning to realize that it is I, the Creator, it is I, and that this world is mine, and that you shall come into repentance with an understanding that you didn't understand before, that you're getting a truth. And that truth, says the Word of God, is beginning to teach you a freedom, an understanding, a revelation, a truth, that I and you you and I are one. And because of that, my world and you begin to move into what I have already recorded for you to be. Thank you, Lord. And your pleas and your cries are like a sweet, sweet vapor in incense that comes before me. Your tears come before me. And I know that as I am bringing you into a repentance that you don't want woes. You don't want detainments. You don't want poverty. You don't want sickness. And that is what I'm bringing, I'm bringing into you a freedom with none of those detachments or none of those attachments. <laughs>